My dear respected brothers and elders, we are counting and mentioning the virtues of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala. Once said Aisha Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anha, she was on the journey with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were at the place which called Al-Bayda or Dhatul Jaish where Hazrat Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha found it that her necklace is missing. She informed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sahaba Ikram they were looking for it so they did not find and the night happened. So because of the night Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was resting and here Sahaba Ikram they were lacking the water and that particular place it wasn't having any water as well so they were in the need of the water as well as to perform their wudu some of the Sahaba, they came, some of the companions, they came to Abu Bakr Siddiq and they said, you know, look at your daughter, what she, what she did. Uh, because of her, we are stuck here. And because of her, we don't have the water for the wudu. Abu Bakr Siddiq after listening to this, he went towards Hazrat Aisha Siddiq and he found that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is resting in, his, in her lap. So he was, you know, getting mad at her, but not yelling with the loud voice. But he said, because of you, this happened. Because of you, everyone is taunting to me. Because of you. And one time, he started poking her in her waist as well. Because of you, because of you. And she said, Wallahi, it was hurting me, but seeing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is resting on my thigh, I could not move from my place, so it cannot disturb the, you know, sleep of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it lasted whole night, they could not find the necklace, and when in the morning, there was need of the water for everyone. Even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam need the water for the wudu. So at that point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayat of tayammu. فَتَيَمَّمُوا سُعِيدًا طَيِّبًا So you can, you can do the tayammu, you can take the purification with the uh, pure earth. And this is Surat al maida ayat number 43, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. So everyone, they like this idea. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the tool to the, to the ummah. If you are lacking the water, the water is not found, then you can do the tayam. So Sayyidina Usayyid ibn Hudayr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he went to Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and he said, Oh Abu Bakr, this is not the first occasion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed your family on many occasions. And this Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala says, 
when everyone performed their salah and we were ready to leave when my camel got up we found the necklace under the camel so this is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he want to make this you know event memorable and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to bestow hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and his family so this incident happened and on another occasion many times rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he uh, you know requested sahaba ikram that not do not harm abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu with your saying and do not argue with him as on many ahadith point towards this abu darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that one day we were sitting with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam all of a sudden we saw abu bakr he is holding his cloth from both hands and walking swiftly looking at him rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said abu bakr involved in some heated argument because rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam spent most of the time with him before the islam as well he was the close friend to him and after the islam he became one of the you know protector of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we heard in the beginning thus how he sacrificed his own life for the sake of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how much hard time he got so when abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam after greeting after saying the salam he said oh rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam one incident happened me and umar ibn al khattab radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu involved in the heated argument and during this argument i said something to him which i realized i was wrong and i asked him to forgive me subhanallah when you have the mistake you have to realize and you have to point towards that and you have to seek the forgiveness actually this is the huquq al ibad and on the day of judgment when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of the sin which is related to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will not forgive the huquq al ibad but he said abu bakr umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he denied to do so so i am here with you o rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam meanwhile umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu also realized his mistake so to seek his pardon he went to abu bakar siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu's house and he could not find abu bakar over there he understood if abu bakar is not at his house then definitely he will be with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he came and he was thinking that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam will you know say something to me and he was very you know fearful to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam might say something to me and he came so he said o oh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there was my mistake from my side and i seek forgiveness and i forgive abu bakar and i ask him to forgive me looking at the face of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam become angry his face change abu bakar realized that was rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is in angry mood so all of a sudden he went on to his knees and he said oh rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam forgive me then the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam without saying anything particular to umar he generally says o oh people you know abu bakr he is with me all the time in the beginning when i came with the message of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you all denied me and abu bakr every one of you he said you uh, you you are lying and abu bakr is the only one who said whatever he said he said the truth 
for that he have been given the title of siddhya and also in addition he put his life and wealth everything on line for him he sacrificed that so please for my sake rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeated this sentence to us for my sake do not harm abu bakr for my sake do not harm abu bakr the ravi the narrator says after that no one dare to talk abu bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu a lot my dear respected brothers and elders this is the status of abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu at rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we we just say whatever we want regarding them my dear respected brothers and elders conducting the halaqas the dars like this uh, the intention of that is that we learn about the life and legacy of sahaba ikram so we do respect them if you don't have the respect of the sahaba ikram then how can we respect rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when we don't have the uh, you know respect and value of sahaba ikram how can we uh, how can we take their narrations take their ahadith and when the ahadith is gone from our life then my dear respected brothers and elders everything is gone rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says ashabi kan nujum my sahaba my companions are like the stars bi ayyikum muftadaytum ihtadaytum whoever you will follow you will be guided so among them is abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu who is with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the day one and there are many virtues inshallah we will continue and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our saying and listening and through this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our love and affection towards rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions rizwan allah ta'ala alayhi wa ta'ala amin wa akhir da'wana anil hamdulillah rabbil alamin subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanakallahumma bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka